Alright class, tomorrow is show and tell. So bring your favorite thing to class tomorrow so you can show the class and tell them about it. Get it? Because that's why it's called show and tell. Show and tell? Oh my god, I have so much cool stuff I can bring. Ooh guys, I'm gonna bring Rogue Hill. So tell me guys, what dead animal do you want to see? Me and Ken are gonna bring the coolest thing ever that I bet nobody else has. Well Penelope, what are you gonna bring? I'm gonna bring something close to my heart. Guys, she's gonna show us her boobs. What? Yeah, it's close to your heart. Your heart's right here and then your boobs are outside your heart. Ugh, shut up, Junior! Or she's gonna show us her rib cage. Yes, Joseph, that, that would be close to her heart. I knew it! <laughs> hmm, what shall I bring for show and tell tomorrow? You should bring a microscope so everyone can see your little tiny brain, dummy. <laughs> well, you should bring a microscope to show everyone your tiny wiener! I bet whatever you bring tomorrow is going to be stupid. I'll have you know that I have a cat piano that makes cat noises. No, uh no you don't. That's impossible. Well, I do have one and you'll see it tomorrow because that's where I'm going to bring it. Well, if you don't bring it, you're a loser. Well, I'm going to bring it so I'm not a loser. Yeah, right. I'll believe it when I see it. Oh, man. I can't wait to pour a tall glass of soda. <sighs> oh, yeah. It's going to look so good. Oh, yeah. Hey, Marvin! Oh, no! Oh, I, 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 look what you did! Oh, I didn't do that! You startled me! Marvin, his toy's ruined! Jeffy's going to be mad! Look, he shouldn't be leaving his toys in the kitchen. It's not ruined. Just grab some napkins so we can clean it up. Okay. All right, Marvin, it's all clean. It looks good as new. Jeffy won't notice that you poured soda on it. I didn't pour soda on it. You did. Baby, if you wouldn't have scared me, I wouldn't have dropped it, so it's your fault. That's not my fault. All right, then. I need my cat piano. Oh, uh, here it is, Jeffy. All right, sweet. Uh, how, how was school, Jeffy? What? Whoa, 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 what's wrong, Jeffy? My my kitty cat piano is not making kitty cat noises. Oh, whoa, 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 maybe it's maybe it's not on. Nope, it's on. Oh, well, maybe, maybe, maybe the batteries are dead. No, I changed them last night. Uh, but maybe, maybe she poured soda on it. I didn't pour soda on it, you did! Well, if you wouldn't have scared me, I would have dropped the soda on it. Wait, you spilled soda on my cat piano? Oh, it was her. <laughs> Jeffy, 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 just stop crying. Look, 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 you don't even need this dumb toy anyway. No, I need it for tomorrow at school. Well, well why, why do you need it at school? You can't take this to school. Because tomorrow is show and tell, and there's this kid that doesn't believe me that my cat piano can make kitty cat noises. Well, Jeffy, don't take this to show and tell. You'll get bullied if you take this. Take a different toy. No, I have to take this one, and it's not making kitty cat noises. Oh, okay, look, look, Jeffy, we will call a repairman to get it fixed. Baby, call a repairman. Me? Let's call him. Fine. Look, look, Jeffy, look, everything. Things could be fine. Maybe, maybe there's just something stuck in the keys or something like that. Yeah, probably soda is stuck in the keys. Oh, look, look, that's the repairman right now. She's answering the door. Good. Hello? Hey there, you call a repairman? Yes, I need your help. What do you need help with? My cat got wet and now it won't meow. Your cat got wet? Yeah. W wait, aren't you married? Yes, but my husband can't help me fix it. That's why I called you. Uh, 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 okay. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, I, I, I can, I can help. But yeah. So how do you want to do this? Like, do you want to get stuck in the dryer, and I try to help you out? No, come upstairs. We can fix it on the couch. Oh, okay. Even better. God, thank you. How did I get so lucky? Come in here, in here. You're gonna want to put some towels down because it's gonna be like a diet coke with Mentos and. I gotta stop jumping to conclusions. Why are you naked? Yeah, why are you naked? I thought you were talking about... I thought you were talking about something else. I was talking about the cat piano. Well, I can see that now. Wait, why are you naked? Because because it's hot in here. You know what? That's why. So turn on your AC. I had to take my clothes off. Now let's just get this over with. I'm not in the mood. Okay, well look. This is my son's cat piano and I spilt soda on it so it doesn't work. Oh, that's why you said your cat was wet. Okay, I get it now. Well, can you fix it? Well... What's it supposed to do? When you press the key, it's supposed to meow. Well, it's not doing that, so you fried it. What? I fried it? Yeah, you're gonna have to get another one. I don't want another one! I want this one! Is that how we act here? Like five-year-olds? Oh, is there any way you can fix this one? No, no, it's done. You get another one. Oh, look, 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 I'll pay you $100 if you can fix it. <sighs> okay, I, I have an idea. Hold on. <sighs> What's taking them so long? Hey, Marvin, press one of the keys! What? Press one of the keys! Uh, okay. <laughs> See, it's fixed. Tell your son it's fixed. Uh, uh Jeffy, your piano's fixed. Really? Give me C. <coughs> it doesn't sound right. What, what, he, doesn't, he doesn't sound right. What do you mean it doesn't... <coughs> the little shit bit me. What happened? Well, I found a cat and I was squeezing him every time you pressed a key. Well, that's not fixing it. He has to take it to school for show and tell. He can't squeeze a cat to show and tell. Okay, look, man. I got blue balls, a cat just bit me, and I can't fix your piano, okay? It's not gonna happen. Just buy another one. Well, no, at least can I have that $100 back? No. Uh. <laughs> I need my cat 
Daniel for show and tell tomorrow. Oh, 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 oh. We're gonna fix it. Marvin, I think we need to buy a new one. Okay, you go to the store and buy a new one, and I'm gonna just throw this one away, and then when the new one comes, we'll just say it's his old one. Okay. All right, Jeffy, I'm gonna go to the kitchen and fix this, so just stay right here and don't follow me. Okay. Okay, Marvin, I got the cat piano. Baby, what is this? It was the best one I could find. It's really small. He's gonna be able to tell us about the original. Maybe he won't notice. <sighs> hey, Jeffy, we fixed your cat piano. What the hell is this? It's your cat piano. Look, it meows. <laughs> See? This is dumb. It's too small. I want the big one. Hey, Jeffy, sometimes it's not about size. It's how you use it. Right, baby? Yeah, some people say that, but I kind of like the big ones. Yeah, I like the big one, too. So I want the big car piano back. Oh, well, Jeffy, look, there isn't a bigger one, right? Well, there's actually a bigger one at the store. Then why didn't you buy that one? Because it's really big. Well, then go, go get that one. Okay. Uh, April Fool's, Jeffy. This was just a prank. But it's November. I know. Isn't that just crazy? All right, Marvin, how about this one? Baby, this is huge! I told you that! Dang, I think I like this one more. What? What? No, 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 okay, guys, guys, guys. How about we just throw this one away because it's really loud. To... Guys, stop it! Wait, look, how about we throw this away and I'll go find the original one. Marvin, they're all sold out. No, I will find it somewhere. All right, so look, just throw this away and I'll be right back. Oh, I can't find that cat piano anywhere. I looked online, I looked in the store, I just can't find it. Oh, God, I'd give my soul for a cat piano. Blake! Oh, the devil! So, what, God? God, what are you doing here? I was here first. Oh, whatever, Lucifer. Hey, don't call me that. It is Craig now. <laughs> Craig, what a dumb name. Anyway, who are you going to pick? And remember, if you don't pick me, I'm going to burn you. Uh, what a nice guy, right? Uh, don't listen to him. He's just salty because I kicked him out of heaven. He was double dipping in the cheese dip at my friend's quinceanera. Everybody was double dipping. Well, you're the only one I saw doing it. Okay, so who are you picking? Uh, I think I'm gonna go with God. Oh, come on! He wins everything! Yeah, that's right. Get to stepping, ho. I'm out of here. Oh. Uh, Alright, so what do you need? Okay, well, um, I, I broke my son's cat piano, and I was wondering if you could make a new one. Hmm, cat piano. Yeah, I can do that. Just describe it so I can make it. Okay, so it's like an orange cat, and it's like a piano. You, you, it makes cat noises. W wait, so is its body the piano? But no, it's like, it's like the cat's face, and like the teeth are like the piano keys. Man, that's weird. You're freaking me out. Oh, can you just try to make it? I think I can. Hold on. Is that it? Whoa, that is it! It's perfect! Yep, it is. Alright, I'm gonna take off. I got a quinceanera to go to. Excuse me. Oh my god! It's perfect! It's perfect! Alright, Jeffy, I fixed your cat piano! Oh, you fixed it, Natty! How did you do that, Marvin? Let's just say I got a little help from God. Yes, God! All right, Jeffy, take it to your show and tell tomorrow. Oh, I sure will, Daddy. I'm going to show that boy that he's wrong. <laughs> All right, Crass, today is show and tell. So I'm going to call you up one by one, and you're going to come up to the board and show the Crass what you brought. Cody, you first. But me first? Uh, hold on. Uh, get, get, get in your suit, Ken. Uh, okay, we're ready. Okay, guys, so for my show and tell, I brought these Coke bottles. That's lame. Loser. Guys, let him finish. Thank you, Penelope. Now, these look like normal Coke bottles, but if you turn them around, they have me and Ken's name on the back. Never mind, that's lame. Loser. Wow, the best you can do is a Coke bottle, dude? I'm homeless and I'm gonna do better than you! Yeah, loser! <laughs> well, uh, Ken's a Power Ranger. He he's the red one. You see that? That's cool, right? He, he was in all the shows. What if you just went to the store and bought a Power Rangers action figure and you're trying to say it's Ken? No, no, this is really Ken. He's a, he's a real Power Ranger. Dude, I just found Ken in your desk. That's totally not Ken. Shut the fuck up, him! <gasps> hey, dude, no throwing! <laughs> all right, Cody, go back to your desk. Joseph, you're next! Yeah, Joseph! Let's see what you bring! Yeah! I'm about to knock this out of the park! This is how you do a real show and tell, Cody. Alright, guys! This is Tommy! He's a dead squirrel! I found him on the side of the road! He got hit by a car! No, wait! A truck! A Toyota? No, no, no! Oh, yeah, it was a Ford! It was a Ford! Going 45 miles per hour! Oh, he was drunk! He was drunk, guys! Thank you, Joseph! I mean, you, you can you can pet him if you want. I mean, he might bite you. He has rabies. After a crash, you can pass him around and everyone can pet him. Go back to your desk. All right, Junior, you're next. Thank you, Clash. Ha! Beat that, guys! Joseph, anybody can grab a dead animal out of the road. But can you tell the make and model and the speed and the sobriety of the driver through the taste of his blood? No. I didn't think so. <sighs> Let me go grab my show and tell person. 
All right, guys, what if I told you that a whale, a pig, and a cow had a threesome and had a baby? Junior, is that my mom? Shut up, Cody, I'm presenting. I present to you the amazing talking whale pig cow. Hey, everybody. Mom! Oh, hey, Cody. What am I doing in your classroom? Ta-da! I heard that this magnificent creature can eat five times his body weight in food. It's true. Catch me at the Golden Corral Buffet on Tuesdays. I'm an animal. Thank you, Junior. Go back to your seat. All right, Penelope, Pete, you're next. Oh, my gosh, she's going to show us her tits. Mom, I can't believe you'd embarrass yourself and me like that. Oh, Cody, you know your mommy loves attention. Yes, I'm still winning. Yay, it's my turn. Oh, take your shirt off. Take it off. Shut up, Junior. Oh, I can't wait. All right, guys, for show and tell, I brought my baby blanket. I've had it ever since I was a baby. So you got it today? Shut up, Junior. Take your shirt off. I'm not doing that. This is what I brought for show and tell. Boo! I think hers is even worse than mine, right guys? Come on, let's boo her. Boo! boo. Alright, Penelope, take your baby blanket and go away. Mm. Alright, Bori, you're next. I bet you brought something lame. Oh yeah? It's hammer time. Hey guys, this is my attitude hammer. I use it to smash things in my bedroom while I listen to Slayer whenever I don't understand things. Like whenever my mom heats up my kids' cuisine and the brownie's molten hot but the chicken nuggets are ice cold. Thank you, Bully. Now go back to your desk. Uh, Patrick, you're next. Okay, I'm ready. Hey, everybody. For my show and tell, I drank both bottles of Cody's Coke. You what? And now I'm gonna do the biggest boop ever. <laughs> Thank you, Patrick. You can go back to your desk. Okay. All right, Jeffy, you're next. Yes, it's finally my turn. Yeah, let's see this piano that makes cat noises, if it even exists. Okay, watch this. All right, guys, for show and tell, I brought my cat piano. It makes cat noises. And I even wrote a song. This is my show and tell project. This is my show and tell project. Very cool, Jeffy. Now go back to your desk. All right, what do you think about that? A piano that makes cat noises? I don't understand it. inside it. That's how it makes the noise. I'm gonna beat you up! So Marvin, how do you think Jeffy's show and tell went? I'm sure it went fine. It went bad! Look at this, Daddy! Oh, you broke your cat piano? I didn't break it! Oh, Bob the Builder ass decided to lodge his hammer in my cat piano! Oh. So I beat him up! Jeffy, you beat up a classmate? I sure did, cause he broke my cat piano! So please fix it, Daddy! Oh, oh, Jeffy, I don't think I can get you another one. Mm. Man. Okay. Hello? Hey, I heard you needed something fixed. Yeah, my cat got smashed. Well, I got one for you. What did Cinderella say when she got to the ball? What? 